My name is Motasha Atkins Jones, and I am a coach. I do wellness training, and I also do executive coaching. I got started into the Jumpstart program just right after the pandemic began. I was going through my emails, and I saw email with information concerning plant-based community. That's where I met Dr. Barnhart, who was hosting the Jumpstart program, and he was introducing the participants to the plant-based lifestyle. I never heard about plant-based community eating, so that was something that sounded like I was interested and I want to learn more. During that time, I was diagnosed with obesity, asthmatic, take a high blood pressure, pre-diabetic, and was borderline high cholesterol. So I felt like if I wanted to change, I needed to participate in this program. After joining Dr. Barnhart's program um, of the Jumpstart, I was introduced to the Plant Power Metro New York program, which was really a supportive program to follow up, to continue keeping me focused on staying in the plant-based community. It was definitely a blessing because Dr. Barnhart program basically was just the initiator, but I still needed lots of support. And as I participated in the Jumpstart program with Metro New York, they were absolutely incredible. What they provided for me was meals. They provided for me support. We would meet weekly. We would get educational um, nutritional training. And then after that, we will also share different types of foods. And this community just continue to help build the momentum for me to stay focused on continuing this as a lifestyle. And I am experiencing significant changes in my body and my health is improving. Since I started, I actually have lost over 25 pounds. I'm no longer a pre-diabetic. I am no longer on the blood pressure medication as of yesterday. So I know that this will work, but you have got to keep the momentum and stay motivated. It's not um, a quick fix, but it's slow, gradual changes is what makes you see the progress. I exercise as well, something I didn't really do prior to the plant-based community because I was lethargic all the time. The challenges I faced coming into this program was really my family. I had cultural eating habits. And when you are at family functions, they're eating all the foods that I was taught from the plant-based community that I had to tailor how I eat the soul food dishes. It was difficult. That was a challenge because I'm eating different from my family and I'm trying to educate them about how to eat healthier, but they didn't have the mindset change that I had. So the challenge was saying yes to come to family functions, but bringing my own food. So I would bring a small dish of what I knew I could eat and still eat with them. And I maybe it annoyed them in the beginning, but then they started to respect that this is a change that I'm making and it's a lifestyle change. They just accepted it. I think that the nutritional education was very powerful because in my culture, we didn't eat a lot of vegetables. We only ate certain vegetables. So this was a whole brand new world to me, learning about a lot of different vegetables that I can eat and the nutritional value that they provide for me. I am really becoming like one with my kitchen and my food. And I call it a language because before it was just food. Now it's more important to me that it's healthy food. It's good food. It's going to taste better. I just start talking to the food as I cook it and I enjoy it. Before I didn't do that. Sometime I'm in my kitchen dancing while I'm cooking because I'm really enjoying the pleasure of learning how to cook healthy food. I feel confident in my body. I feel confident in the way that I approach things. And I will tell you this, I am a woman of faith based. So I do believe in the Lord, but I do know that the Lord planned for me to be now healthy from joining this program and getting involved. And now I want to advocate and help other people start their journey to a life of wellness. Cause that's what this is a lifestyle of wellness. It's one step at a time.